guys, this is Monica or Mooney from Mooney Reads and I'm back with another tag, yay! This tag a lot of people did during Thanksgiving because that is kind of a celebration to be thankful for in the US. Sadly, we don't have Thanksgiving in Venezuela, but I still wanted to do this tag. The first book, or the books really, that I am thankful for is the Animorph series by K.A. Oh my god, you guys. I still remember reading this like I read them yesterday. I love these books and these are the books that really got me into reading. It's a pretty extensive series and I still have it and I could probably tell you what happens in each book because some of them I read over and over again. I love them that much. Number two, the second book I am most thankful for is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I read Dracula when I was about 12 to 13 years old. It brought me into a new world of reading adult books and, you know, adult literature and it was just amazing for me. I, you know, 12, 13 years old and turning into a teenager and finding out who I was and that book really did something to me. It said to me, this is who you should be or who you want to be and, you know, not a vampire, <laughs> but I was, I was a goth all through my teen years. And number three is Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews. I know, I know this is not intense literature. I know that this is kind of middle of the road going into not so good. But I'm thankful for it because I read it during a really bad time. I was very depressed. I, I suffer from depression. This book was the one thing that really opened my eyes to something else, to, to something other than my problems. And I could follow these brothers and sisters around. And, and you know, it's a dark book. It's not a, a light read. It's not a children's read. It touches on some really tough subjects to touch upon, but it was still amazing to me. And I loved it. I loved them. And I don't care what anyone says. I love those books by B.C. Andrews. These are also the first books I actually cried while reading. Like, I was bawling through Petals in the Wind. I literally bawling. So, yeah. Number four, I had a really hard time choosing because I, I think I chose these out of, like, where I was in life and how these books changed me and how I'm thankful for that. I went with 1984 by George Orwell. I read 1984 when I was, I believe, 17 years old, and it was assigned in English to me, and wow, just wow. When I read this book, it was like all my imagination, all my thoughts, everything I had ever thought of was written in a book, and it blew me out of the water. I love that book. I know that it's not like the YA dystopian novels that are so popular right now. But um, that doesn't make it any less amazing, I mean, in fact, I, I still think it's my favorite dystopian book ever. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but that ending, that ending will stay with me for the rest of my life. If you haven't picked up 1984, definitely, definitely go pick it up if you really enjoy dystopian. Sorry about that, my camera ran out of battery, but um, I left off at the fifth book that I am most thankful for, and that is... 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. You have to understand that I lived in the U.S. most of my childhood, and then right when I was turning into a teenager, my parents decided that they wanted us to get some of our Venezuelan values back because they, they felt so <laughs> weirded by us. And, you know, we were more North American than Venezuelan then. I remember one day in seventh grade, my Spanish literature teacher handed me this book and it was the first taste of Latin American literature that I had and it blew my mind away. It was like nothing I had ever read in my life and at first I thought that I wasn't gonna like it, that I was gonna in fact hate it. Actually I ended up loving this book. I love it. I still do love it. It's one of the most amazing pieces of writing that I have ever read and I'm thankful for reading it because it opened up the whole Latin American spectrum of literature that is completely different from the North American. If it hadn't been for this book, I would have never gotten there, you know. So I'm very thankful for it and I also highly recommend it if you want to enter the true Hispanic Latin American culture in literature, 
I highly recommend that you start by this book because it's it has a way to draw you in and it and it's amazing and it really is Latin American literature right there for you. Um, if you've read any of these books, if you're interested in reading any of them, if you've liked them, if you haven't, please leave a comment down below discussing them. I'd love to hear what you guys think, especially especially about, you know, if you've had any taste of Latin American literature. Let me know and, you know, I guess I'll see you guys next time.